Do you ever look into your closet and think that you have nothing to wear? I do. In this video, I'm talking about the clothing that you should never wear after the age of 50. Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and in this video, I'm going to help you streamline your wardrobe so that you'll be able to walk into your closet and easily pick pieces that you can mix and match, and when you put them on, feel great about yourself. Clothing is an extension of our personality, and when we wear it, it should really make us feel good, confident, and proud. That brings me to my first thing that needs to go. Any piece of clothing that does not bring you joy. When I turned 50, I made a promise to myself that when I went clothes shopping, I was only going to buy clothing that brought me joy, that made me happy when I looked in the mirror. I have been pressured so many times to buy clothing while I'm trying it on in the store and the sales lady saying, that looks great on you, when the voice inside of me knew otherwise. You know, it was still my choice to buy the clothing. I, you know, I take responsibility for that, but not any longer. When wearing clothing, you just wanna feel proud of yourself. I know from my own personal experience, when I have worn, you know, maybe a frumpy shirt or something, and then I go out in public and I see people and I'm kind of like, oh gosh, I hope that they don't see me. Have you ever felt like that? So now whenever I go out, I'm making sure that I feel good about myself and proud and that if I ran into a stranger, that I'm going to feel good about how I look and not wanna hide. So my philosophy when buying clothes, I'd rather have fewer pieces of clothing that are of better quality than having a lot of lesser quality clothes in my closet. If I figure out my cost per wear, the more expensive clothing will actually be cheaper in the long run. I know from my own experience, I bought a lot of cheaper clothing in the past, and after a few washes, it might have a hole in it, um, it might have lost its shape. So if you figure out the cost per wear on say a $100 pair of jeans, and those jeans last you, you know, three, four, five years, or even longer if you're always the same size, figure out the cost per wear against a cheaper pair of jeans or a lesser quality, and you'll see in the long run, the more expensive piece of clothing actually saved you money. So whenever I am shopping now, I shop sales, I sign up for emails, lots of stores if you sign up, you know, they'll give you a percentage off. Lots of stores have rewards. If you buy, you know, $500 worth of clothing over time, you'll get $25 off. All these little things can help and you don't have to throw everything in your closet out. That's not what I'm saying. But just think like maybe next time you're looking for a pair of jeans or a nice sweater, instead of opting for, you know, the $20 one, maybe think about investing in the $50 one. Yes, it's a lot of money, but believe me, you're probably going to notice a difference right away and that piece of clothing is going to last you many years. The second thing that needs to go from your closet right now is any clothing that has holes, rips, or stains you deserve better. I'm guilty, I have a t-shirt that I keep in my closet but I only wear it whenever I'm cleaning the house because I don't wanna get like bleach on a nice t-shirt. So I have this one specific t-shirt that has holes in it, that has stains in it from bleach and I don't care, nobody's gonna see me but I won't be caught dead outside of my house wearing it. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to look good. Don't settle for clothes that don't make you feel good. I know we all have those stack of t-shirts that are out of shape, out of style. Um, they're just boxy looking, but we hate to throw them away because we spent money on them. Keep one or two for when you're cleaning your house, but really you deserve better, ladies. Buy yourself a nice t-shirt that you can be proud if somebody comes to the door, rings your doorbell, that when you open the door, you know, you're proud. You're, you're gonna feel confident. You're gonna feel good about yourself. The next thing that needs to leave your closet right now is anything that is too small or too big. Again, I am guilty of this. I have bought clothes in the past for, oh, when I lose 10 pounds. Well, that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> so odds are that top or pants or whatever is no longer in style. 
and it's probably something that I really don't want to wear anymore. So I will donate it or you can sell it on Poshmark. I usually donate all of my clothing to a local women's shelter and all the money goes to help the women get started on their own. So as somebody that is on a weight loss journey to lose 50 pounds, this totally resonates with me. I recently bought some clothing and I have lost almost 10 pounds and I can tell that the clothing is starting to um, look a little big on me. So it's really important to buy clothing for the body that you have right now. It's important to accept your body as it is right now. And if I'm wearing, you know, clothing that is way too big on me, it doesn't help me look any thinner. It actually makes me look bigger and frumpy looking. So it's really important you want your clothes not to be, you know, skin tight, but you want them to fit the body that you have right now. And you're going to feel really good about yourself. And I feel then I will probably look at myself in the mirror, feel good about myself, and then that's going to help me want to stay on my weight loss journey. The next so thing that just has to go from your closet is anything you haven't worn in a year. I know a lot of people say, you know, turn the hangers uh, the opposite way, and if in a year's time you haven't turned them the other way, <laughs> that you, the clothing should go. I don't do that. I usually go through my closet twice a year just quickly and see if there's anything that I want to get rid of or something that still has the tags on and I'll sell it on Poshmark or if I'm not going to sell it I'll donate it but it, I think it's really important to have things in our closet that make us want to get dressed because I am guilty of you know schlepping around in clothes that have been too big for me because who cares like I didn't maybe feel that great about myself at the time but I'm working on myself. I'm starting to feel better about myself. So I want to look better, for, not only for myself, but you know, whenever I go out in public, I want people to say, darn girl, you look good. Not, oh my God, what is she wearing? So don't feel bad if you have clothes in your closet that still have tags on them. Take them and sell them and then use that money to buy yourself a good quality piece of clothing. The next thing that has to go right now out of your closet is clothes that remind you of a bad experience or a sad time in your life. We all have those funeral outfits, right? It's unfortunate, but as we get older, people start to pass away. So I have my go-to funeral outfit, a pair of black pants, black shoes, and a black top. But I have this black top in my closet. It's been in my closet for the last five years since my dad passed away. And every time I look at this black top, it just brought me back to my dad's death. I don't want to be reminded of that every time I go in my closet. I really liked that top before wearing it to the funeral, but now it just reminds me of the sad time. So I'm getting rid of that. I don't need the reminder. I still miss my dad. I don't need to be sad every time I go into my closet. Does that make sense? I know we all have pieces of clothing in our closet that... You know, maybe you had a breakup and you wore a certain dress with your ex. You know, do you really want to, every time you go in your closet, be reminded of a bad experience? Go back to my first example that our clothes should bring us joy, that we should be happy when we look at our clothing. And I also believe that if you invest in quality pieces, and I'm not talking like going out and buying two, three, four, five hundred dollars or more sweaters or jeans, like buy what you can for your budget but maybe buy the better quality one instead of buying you know two or three ten dollar t-shirts maybe just buy one twenty five dollar shirt and i think that you will see that you will probably wear that outfit more often because you're going to feel so much better about yourself wearing it so get rid of anything that doesn't bring you joy get rid of anything that is stained has holes or tears in it anything that is too small or too big, anything you haven't worn in a year, and anything that reminds you of a sad time in your life. Ladies, you deserve to feel good about yourself. It is time to put yourself first now. Feel good about yourself. If you're like me and on a weight loss journey, don't wait until you lose all of your weight to start to feel good about yourself. If you start wearing better clothing now that makes you feel good about yourself, not things that are, you know, tens of times too big for you or things that are stained. 
If you dress yourself, feel good about yourself, it's probably going to help in the long run to lose weight. I'm only talking from my experience. That's, you know, all that I can talk about. But these are things that I have implemented into my life. And I'm finally starting to feel confident about myself, to feel better about myself. And I just want to share these things that worked for me with you all. So hopefully, you know, maybe you can take one or two of these things and apply it to your life. So if you found my video helpful, I hope that you'll give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back soon with another video. Take care. Bye.